hello guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this video i will guide you for design of beam which span is 20 feet this is one column and that is other column the span between each column is 20 feet the span between two column is 20 feet so let's get start guys if you have any question related to this short video so you can comments i will try to respond to you let's get start guys you can see guys i'm on this construction site okay <clears throat> first of all i will tell you the size of column the size of beam which is guys width you can see this is 12 inches and depth is 16 inches so this is the size of beam okay with concrete cover because the shuttering is already completed and the beam is inside the shuttering and the size of the shuttering is 12 by 16 inches depth is 16 inches width is 12 inches okay so here guys this is the size so we have four steel rods in bottom portion of this beam okay four steel rods and two steel rods in upper portion okay two steel rods in upper portion which is compression zone as i told you in many videos that concrete is strong in compression but it's weak in tension so therefore in tension zone we have four steel rods you can see but in upper portion in compression zone we have two steel rods okay so this is the section of this beam we have two section so this is the section after l by 4 and this is the section at the distance of l by 4 guys you can see okay so here guys you can see at this section we have if you see we have here six steel rods four at the bottom two at the top okay but here guys you can see we have here eight steel rods how we have eight steel rods you can see one is extra steel rods at the mid portion of this uh, beam okay and two are side bars guys you can see this is one bar and that is other bar we have two side bars in this section this is at the distance of l by four guys you can see the spacing is five inches but here guys you can see the spacing is about eight inches there we have positive bending moment here we have negative bending moment so these are steel reinforcement details they used here guys the die of steel 20 millimeter okay for bottom portion also for upper portion which span is 20 feet but extra steel rod dia is 16 millimeter stirrup dia is 10 millimeter with the spacing of 5 inches with the spacing of 8 inches after l by 4 hooks you can see which are bent on 90 degree it should be provided on 135 degree same condition same situation you will see on this side because also we have extra steel rods here that's why because we have negative bending moment same if you come here guys again you will see so this is its drawing okay so here you can see the extra steel rods two are side bar one is metal bar for resist negative bending moment okay so let me show you the same design of floor beam okay this beam and that beam is same because the length is 20 feet okay so therefore guys you can see at the distance of l by 4 you will see here five steel uh, five steel rods in upper portion three at the top portion two are sidebar so five numbers four at the bottom but if you see at this side we have six steel rods four are four they used at bottom portion tension zone and two in upper portion spacing is here eight inches and spacing is here five inches we have two spacing here already discussed uh, the structural drawing in many videos you can see guys this is the beam which length is 20 feet and this is its design they will use here m15 grade of concrete which ratio is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 that should be remembered if you are working on construction site so these types of video can help you because uh, uh, mostly i am on the construction site i have many construction so therefore 
mostly I am on the construction side and I am uh, guiding you for the construction technical terms especially for beam, column, slab reinforcement because these are the bones of construction okay guys you can see this is the slab construction I will also uh, create a short video on this RCC slab this is in progress okay this is single image look at here this is the beam which span is 24 feet I will also create a video on this you can see the technical terms here this is shuttering the gap between ply you can see they already placed the uh, plastering tape which is very important to cover the joints as you can see this is the column they used here look at here they used here 25 millimeter die of steel rod okay we have here 16 rods 25 mm other bar dia is 20 millimeter they used here 60 grade steel rods they did some technical mistakes so i will guide you in next video you can see this is the construction site the covered area is 8000 square feet and this is six story commercial building so the beam is designed for six story commercial building the column is already constructed That is the junction between beam and column. If you see, you will find the extra steel rods, as I told you in many videos. If you see here, we don't have extra steel rods in the beam. That is the junction between beam and column. To resist negative bending moment on each side, you will see the extra steel rods. Same situation you will find see, you will find here. Okay, guys. So this is also a short video, but more information you can find in this clip. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.